Hello, everyone. Um, thanks for joining us today. If you're not able to join us, you're watching the replay. So thank you very much for your time. Um, I have Mike Young here, who is uh, the incredible Mike Young, who has about a gazillion things going on at any one time. And But one of the things that I love that I've been involved with, uh, myself and Jim Loomis, is this health optimization cruise. We, we were on, we headlined the uh, inaugural one last year, well, earlier this year, January, 2024. And it was a fantastic and incredible opportunity and experience. Um, so if, you're, if you'd like to know about anything, um, I hope that you, you're able to pop on and ask questions. Um, but you know, Mike, I'm just gonna let you take it away and, and share with our members at the Center for Plant-Based Living um, what is, what, if you wanna talk a little bit about the beginning of this year um, and then highlight what's going on in 2025. All right, thanks, Karen. Yeah, you and, and Dr. Loomis did an excellent job as our headliners uh, for January with Doc and Chef. And I'm Mike Young, I'm 54 years young, and our event is all about health span and longevity, okay? And of course, that involves plant-based eating. So this whole cruise is kind of structured around our healthy vegan food standard that was developed by our nonprofit which is the nonprofit is the one that, that runs this event actually. And healthy vegan food standard is kind of like lifestyle medicine in a way, so this focuses on food. And we have six pillars. Six pillars of healthy vegan food are that it has to have no animal products. The dish has to have actual plant fiber in it. Uh, we do not consider alcoholic beverages uh, healthy. And then the other three things are no added oil, no added salt and no refined sugar as defined by T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies. So basically every item of food that we serve uh, automatically, you come into our private dining area on the ship, we have our own private dining area. We don't have the whole ship, at least not yet. We have a, a small part of the ship, but these chefs make gourmet, creative meals, never repeating a dish at lunch or dinner, and every course, there's at least three of them at lunch and dinner, meets our healthy vegan food standard. So it's totally guilt-free, basically. You're not eating any added salt, no added oil. It's you, you can't really get that anywhere else, not with the, the creativity of the chefs, not with all the professional entertainment of celebrity at the, on their like latest brand new cruise ship. Okay, brand new with, 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 with mind-blowing, you know, like a center stage that wraps around and and all the professional entertainers they have. Plus, of course, we have education from Doc and Chef and other folks that are basically practicing out there in the field, in this plant-based field or in medicine, you know, talking about lifestyle medicine concepts. So, new, and let me tell you, new for this year, Karen and I, you were, we, were, we were just talking before this broadcast, and that's what we had for January of this year, the, the inaugural event. But for this coming January, we're adding a couple of features that uh, deal with the food, let's say, because the food is already top notch. But what we decided to do is we know that there's a there's a there's a group of people that don't that prefer to eat their food fully raw, meaning not cooked. And actually, that the finding not the finding raw is actually I think below 115 degrees. I believe you can heat yes, stuff yes. up in the dehydrator. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So if people want, you can ask for a fully raw version of the course at at lunch or dinner, and we're gonna have breakfast uh, raw options as well. But that's any time you want. You don't have to commit. You can kind of, you know, play it by ear. You can do a fully raw cruise if you want to of gourmet prepared food. Wow. So that is a lot of work. I think you know, Karen, as a chef, right? Okay, that's a lot of work. The yes. other thing is, um, since our standard requires no added oil, no added salt on everything, the the kitchen cannot use uh, commercially available like plant-based sauces and dressings and and things like that, condiments, right? Because they all either have oil or salt or some kind of combination in it. So they have to make from scratch all of those things, the dressings, the condiments, the the, the sauces, right? I mean, that is a lot of work. <laughs> yes, huge, yes. So the kitchen does all that for you. So you get to experience like a variety of things. And we actually weren't satisfied with the variety on this first year. We're gonna have even more variety for next year. And let me, speaking of variety, the, the third option you have at every single meal, including uh, the sit down multi-course lunches and dinners is what we call uh, transition food. We've newly developed this and we saw a need where, well, maybe people aren't quite ready for the high end healthy vegan food stuff because it is an adjustment for your palate. You know, 
we do we do exclaim that's the best thing for your health but you know your taste buds are going to notice a difference if you're not used to eating that way so we've got this transition food you can request it at any time at any meal and basically that standard is it's all on our website but it, what it is is um you can add a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt the chefs will at their discretion and the one stipulation is you can't fry anything because frying, of course, I don't think there's any way anybody's going to consider that healthy at all. Okay. So yeah. um, that is on our website at healthy, or sorry, healthoptimizationcruise.org. Just kind of look at that. Wow. That sounds fantastic. I'm so excited when I, when I was first on this call with you, Mike, when we first, the first call this year, um, and you mentioned that you're really rounding out the cuisine by adding in the raw component and the transition foods. I thought I just thought that was fantastic because not everybody can go from zero to 60 like we did, right? That's <laughs> right, it's, yes. It's Most people can't. Um, uh, but, uh, and that's really probably the only thing that I have done in my life, zero to 60, is changing over to a fully plant-based diet overnight. But, um, you know, again, most people can't do that. So if we can tif- tiptoe into it, you know, if you could do, I mean, can you imagine if somebody came onto this cruise and they were just kind of like, just curious, just curious about it. And they, they started with the transition foods and they were like, this is pretty easy, pretty easy. And then they were fully plant-based seven or eight days late, seven days later. Like that is fantastic. I mean, that's, and, and to do it on a beautiful ship in the Caribbean, getting, you know, meeting new friends and getting a full education, a full spectrum education about a whole food plant-based diet. I mean, what, what a better opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. We we actually believe, looking far off into the future, that all vacations should be like this. You should be able to take a vacation, have fun, gain knowledge, new friends and things, and not hurt your health in the process. Because, you know, a, a lot of even plant-based and vegan events, they don't have really high-level food. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, I've gone on these events, I've come back worse than when I left. And... <laughs> I can, I tell you, that didn't happen this time. <laughs> okay. That, that definitely didn't happen this time. So I know the kitchen was following all the instructions. Um, and one thing I want to mention too, is like, like you said, there's, 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 there's knowledge. There's, um, there's a uh, transition, but there's a journey. Everyone's on a journey. I'm on a journey. Right. So we are definitely understanding that, that it's a, uh, it's a society wide issue right now that we have to do. We're all in transition to doing better for our health. So we don't hurt ourselves if we can avoid it. And that's that's kind of what we're trying to, to broadcast here in the event is that you can go, you can eat all the food. We have our own private dining area. Everybody can eat together or you can go to other areas in the ship, but they do have plant-based and vegan stuff. They have regular food that's not plant-based or vegan. It's up to you. You have total freedom when you're on the ship, but you know you won't get the full health benefits unless you eat with us. And of course you don't get the the new social and friend benefits too. And you, know, like you guys will be doing demonstrations of cooking and, and more knowledge from Dr. Loomis, who's I see he's on the call. And then also we have other presentations by other uh, either board certified lifestyle medicine doctors or others that are in like the just anything that if, if you know the six pillars of lifestyle medicine, anything that fits with that, we have that. And that's for our for our group. It's private. You have to sign up through our website at healthoptimizationcruise.org to get the benefits. But um, we have the, also the regular benefits of being on the ship. You know, um, one of the one of the things that helps people really stick to whenever they're changing their lifestyle and any component, if you're trying to stop drinking or work out more, or eat different, you know, is support. So, um, you know, I've I've Jim and I are on a um, faculty to a, a health immersion that's in Florida every year, a couple a couple few times a year, and we see people come who uh, go to this immersion, this event, but they also bring their spouse who maybe is not really so much into the plant-based living, but right. all wants yeah. to help and support their spouse. And so that's what I saw happening on the cruise. And I hope to have, hope to see that more this time because then they both, both people in the relationship, maybe it's a best friend, maybe it's a mother daughter, maybe it's a married couple, it doesn't matter. But to have that built in, pardon me, support is so important. So you can come onto this ship enjoy a beautiful vacation, right? And go to yeah. multiple islands. And then also every meal that you have, they're there by your side, eating what you're eating, maybe, maybe not, but then also understanding, maybe going to a few of these lectures 
um, presentations, lectures, kind of boring, um, <laughs> and, and really just living the lifestyle with you for, for a week and understanding it. So maybe that other person who's not plant-based has a better understanding, maybe doesn't want to go plant-based and that's fine. You know, you do you, but at least they understand and can support that person who wants to go plant-based. That's yeah. it's huge. It's huge. Right. Well, the other thing, Karen, that I love about this cruise is, you know, that that the education component, you know, as Mike said, we're all on a journey. We're all learning. I'm still learning. I live and breathe this and I still learn um, every conference I go to, uh, you know, plant based conference. I learn. And so so being able to marry not only helping people with with the what, you know, this is what you need, but the why. Right. So why? And, that, and that's what we really try to do at Doc and Chef. So it's not not only why do you need more plants on your plate, you know, th this is important, but this is the specific health benefits you get when you incorporate more tomatoes and lycopene. This is the more, this is the health benefits you get when you eat more fiber um, and, and, and really learning, uh, connecting all the dots because it's, you know, although the food is incredibly important and probably the most important, as Mike said, there's, there's, as you said, Mike, there, there's other pillars of lifestyle medicine, but the thing is they're all connected, right? It's, it's not just the food we eat. It's, it's also how much we move. It's about how much we sleep, how much we stress, how much we drink, whether or not we smoke, uh, the social connections that we have, you know, on and on and on. And, 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 and they're all intertwined. And, and so I, I love the fact that, that you, you, we bring all this together in one spot. And over the course of a week, uh, you know, even myself learn from some of the lectures that are that, that that are there because I don't know everything and science changes and maybe hearing the same thing through a different lens allows me, gives me tools to help my patients, right? As I'm trying to move them along on this process. So I think that's the other thing, even people that are already whole food plant-based and already, you know, think they know everything. I guarantee you they don't. And I also guarantee you the people that, that are already in this lifestyle and already kind of understand it will come off the ship with more knowledge than they had when they got on. And, and so again, so it's, you know, whether people are already like us kind of already engaged and think we know everything when, you know, we don't, uh, or people that are just new on this journey, I think it really has something to offer for everybody. That, that's an excellent point, Dr. Loomis. I mean, I, I kind of uh, abide by the life axiom that nobody stays the same. You're either getting better or worse. So if that's the case and you want to do the best you can for your health, you need to surround yourself with people that are doing the same thing. And right. Karen, as you mentioned, uh, a lot of times someone's spouse may not be on the same page or at the same level. Their journey is different, right? So uh, an event like this is is workable for, for a couple like that because, you know, it's not like you're going to an immersion where all you have is this food and you can't deviate from that and, and that's it. Well, you can deviate because this ship is massive, right? I mean, there's so many different right. restaurants with, with excellent, excellent presentation and an atmosphere i mean you got you guys tell me you you were there i'm sure you looked checked out some of the other restaurants as well yeah i, I think that we did um well we did that one that that plant-based oh, yeah, menu yes. at, at, at edge was probably yeah. one of the best meals i've literally ever had um uh it, we, we 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 um you know it was not included in the cruise we had to pay a little bit extra but so innovative i mean you know and now that we got to we did that after we got to know the chefs uh, through our own presentations and realizing the love and the care they put into preparing food um uh, that was honestly one of the best vegan meals i've ever had wouldn't you agree karen that meal yeah, we had at the yeah. we, uh, uh mike i don't know if you know we did the the uh, we did chef jeff's plant-based which was totally vegan um mm -hmm. plant-based tasting menu you did it yep Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, it was absolute. I mean, it was blow your socks off. Cra I mean, it was crazy <laughs> good, crazy good. And you know, you can choose to do that, you know, uh, or not. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whatever price pricing Liz comes up with um, for each individual, because there was, and I, and I did say something earlier in one of the past emails is that we can't give prices only because there's so many there's right. promos going on yes there's, you know if you're a veteran if you're over 65 if you're who, like all these other things there's so yes. many different, like yes. yeah pricing tiers um but um yeah i that that wow that meal is amazing <laughs> and also the ship itself is amazing just taking a tour oh. Of the ship oh, oh yeah unbelievable it was Bye. unbelievable Oh my God, are we? We're still on the ascent, right, Mike? Yes, same same ship. Uh, so it's it'll be just a little bit over a year old, 
And yeah. um, that's one of the stipulations I had when Liz approached me wanting to do this. And like you said, you have to book through Liz, the pricing through Liz. And let me just say about the pricing, I can tell you, everybody said it was a great value. That's what I heard, okay? Because top level ship, top level service. And I've been on many different cruise lines. This was the best. And I know I'm a little bit biased. The food too, like you were saying. And Karen, how about the chefs? I mean, you're a chef. I felt like they were so open-minded and oh, yeah. for the challenge, right? To well, do that. Yeah, so here's the thing, like chefs are, are, are notably, notable, notable for um, really just digging their heels in and not letting anybody else in their kitchens. And I get it, like, you know, that's your space. But Chef Jeff, who was our one of our chefs, um, he allowed Jim and I to get into his kitchen and present from his kitchen. He's been with Celebrity for now 18 years, and he could not have been nicer. He was so gracious. He was so uh, generous with his time and his resources with us and sharing any tips and trips, tricks that he had with me as well. So, and then also when Jim and I did our presentation, right, that's what right. go salad. Yeah. He said that he wanted to add that to his menu in his restaurant. So, um, right. the, and, and the thing is like, that was that, that type of personality is is all throughout the ship. Uh, the entire crew is, everyone is so kind and so nice and, and just happy to be there. And, you know, and we are kind of, you know, we're just what last year was 75 people, I think. Yeah, about that. Yep. So, I mean, and they're just nice, no matter what the dietary needs are, doesn't matter what group you're with, whatever, like everyone is so nice. Everyone's just so happy to be there, but why wouldn't you be happy to be there? You're right. on a cruise ship. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> and a but, really nice one too. So but, it, it, it was my first cruise, by the way, and uh, the standard is pretty darn high now. <laughs> <laughs> you're spoiled forever, right, Karen? Yeah. You know, as far as but 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 you know, you're right. I mean, I, when 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 the whole like the head chef and Chef Jeff and the 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 Greek I forgot his name, the Greek uh, the head chef, Constantino. Yeah, yeah, you know, they all came and watched our presentation. And, and we're taking notes. I mean, you know, because they want to learn. I think, I think to your point, Mike, this is the future of vacations, right? And I think these cruise ships understand more and more that people are going to be demanding access to really, really healthy plant-based foods going forward. And the fact they were open-minded and learning from us, um, you know, that was pretty, as, as, as Karen said, that's pretty amazing, really. Uh, that they were that open-minded um, to learn from the things we had. And we're not, I mean, she, Karen's a chef. I'm just there, right? But that these these chefs who run these huge kitchens are learning from the things we're teaching everybody on the cruise, right? That, we're part of the health optimization cruise. Yes. And and for that, you know, I, I want to mention, I think I mentioned to the both of you, but I want to mention here in the video that I apologize to the staff. We had a pre-launch meeting that I went to and I'm like, look, I'm sorry because I know no one's ever made as many demands on you as <laughs> I have, okay? In terms of what you have to do with this food. And they're like, oh no, 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 no. And I'm like, oh no, really, I'm really sorry. And never once did I think that there was any pushback or you know, a bad, a gr holding a grudge or, or whatnot. They just were so up to the challenge, really. Like you said, I think maybe these folks are like us and we're a small minority that realize this is the future but you know we got to get to a point right dr loomis where i feel like uh, you know about 75 80 percent of all illnesses are due to lifestyle poor lifestyle choices okay, and we're, right. more, we're, more than that i, I when i talk to you i say 90 percent plus oh it, my gosh the, the root cause is is the food that goes in our mouth and how much we move and how much you know how much we stress and sleep all the things i talked about are these pillars of lifestyle medicine yet we're going to spend close to four trillion dollars in the United States this year taking care of the consequences of this mismatched lifestyle. And, and I think, you know, people are I mean, people are starting to recognize that type two diabetes is not a metformin deficiency and high cholesterol is not a Lipitor deficiency and high blood pressure is not a Losartan deficiency. But these are fundamentally based in lifestyle. But no one has ever given them the tools to, to, to really regain the, you know, to teach them the knowledge and the tools they need to, re, to, to take their health back into their own hands. And that's what this is really all about, right? This is what, yeah. you know, we talk about health optimization. Um, you know, if, if you think about the modern healthcare system, you know, here's sick, here's dead. We enter the system, we're 30, 40, and we just hope that we try to get the doctor to keep the curve from going down too fast or too steep and hope we make it to 80. But how do we do it, right? Well, your blood pressure's high, here's some pills. 
Now your blood pressure is great, but now your cholesterol is high. Here's some more pills. And then your sugars are high, more pills. Then you have a heart attack, a stent. Then you get cancer, chemo. And then now you're spending your 80th birthday in a nursing home, right? And the difference we're talking about here is, so, so in that model, we add years to our patients' lives. We take away life from their years, right? We allow them to accumulate disability and cost and suffering, recognizing it doesn't have to be that way, right? We, you know, there's no reason the curve can't look at this. We all got to die. You just don't want it to be your fault. Got to take the eye out of die. And so optimizing our health is the difference between spending our 80th birthday on this cruise ship and or in a nursing home. Wow. And those yeah. are what we're really trying to provide people is the knowledge and, and the empowering them to, to take that journey so that that's where they end up on their 80th birthday. Yeah. That's, and, and you as, as a physician, Dr. Loomis, I mean, you could say all you want to a patient, right? But if they can only experience this optimal lifestyle within the four walls of their house and not go anywhere, <laughs> right. that's also a challenge and a problem, right? Because they're right. going to go somewhere. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So anyway. So speaking of going somewhere, let's um, let's briefly go over the ports of call, right? Or the, or the, the week. So on January 5th, we're all going to be there and we're going to depart from Fort Lauderdale. And the sixth, we are at sea all day. So you can go and just, well, you can look around the boat, but that's when we're also going to be doing presentations. Yeah, well, let, let people know, yeah, that we will have presentations all day that day. Those at sea days are just learning and socializing and exploring the ship. And uh, that's when most of the presentations take place. Yeah, so we'll have three full days of presentations. So the sixth, we're cruising or we're at sea, so presentations. The seventh, we're in the, we are, uh, pulling up to the Dominican Republic. The eighth will be in St. Thomas. The ninth will be in St. Martin, uh, Phillipsburg. The 10th and the 11th, we are at sea, so presentations. And then the 12th, we pull back into Fort Lauderdale. It is a full week cruise, a full week of learning, eating, new friendships, support, the whole thing. Exploring. I mean, you know, exploring, exploring new places. Um, I've never been to uh, Dominican Republic. I've traveled a lot, but I've never been in the Dominican Republic and I've never been to the Dutch side of Martinique. I've been to the French side, but not the Dutch side, which we're going, which is completely different culture. So I'm personally really looking forward to exploring some places I've never been. But, you know, even if you've been there, I mean, I mean, come on, a beach in the Caribbean. You know, I mean, OK, <laughs> and skip winter. You get the skip winter. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's one thing to go to the Caribbean in July or August now, right? Okay, right, 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 right. <laughs> Nothing to go in. Yeah, it should be. We'll be out of hurricane season by then too, which would be good. Correct. So. Yes. <laughs> so, um, Mike, talking about the presentations, um, I know that you said that there was going to be more tracks this year. Mm -hmm. So, um, does that mean that there's people are going to have like potentially two to choose from if we have things going on simultaneously? Yes, we didn't have that this year. We just had one uh, presentation in each time slot. But uh, in 2025, we should be able to at least probably double up on that. And we, we wanted to do just one uh, the first year just so that everyone could experience everything. But this time you may have to make a choice. Yeah, but it's, nice, it's always nice to have a choice. Yeah. And, um, you know, just this whatever it's going to more, resonate more with you is the way to go. And something you mentioned too, about, you know, enjoying 2024. I just want to point out that this is not marketed as a weight loss event, but I will tell you quite a few people told me they were losing a pound a day and they were not fasting. Okay. And if you look on our website, healthoptimizationcruise.org, you'll see one of the newer testimonials I've put up from someone who's returning. A lot of people signed up on the ship to return for 2025 talking about how, she lost seven pounds on the cruise and has kept it off because you know, right. it's not just the, the food. Yeah, the food there, it's going to it's gonna make it easy. You're not going to have to even think about it. You're going to lose weight as long as you're in our private dining area. And then you've gained all these habits, like, you know, all the influence, all the new knowledge, like you're saying, Dr. Loomis, there's always something new to learn. Right, right. And, you know, that's the exact opposite. Uh, I can't tell you how many times patients have come into the office for their physical and, you know, they're, they've gained some weight and their cholesterol is high. And I say, you know, what's going on? You're doing, oh, I just got back from a cruise, right? <laughs> oh, typical experience on a cruise is the exact opposite of, of what you said, Mike. You know, that, that you know, we people go on a cruise and they're eating, you know, just eating at the buffets and, you know, whatever. 
and they they get worse. And I mean, imagine an opportunity to enjoy a cruise and come off the boat healthier than when you got on. I mean, that's that's astounding, right? Yeah. Um, that's astounding, really. And not only coming off healthier, but having the tools now to maintain that, like you said, um, you know, to maintain those health gains uh, uh, to going forward. So, I mean, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Not to us, I think. I think yeah. we get it. Like yeah, yeah. For people, they, you mean I'm going to go on a cruise and lose weight? Like, uh, what the heck is going on there, right? Yeah, yeah well, it's like the anti-cruise, but we call it like the future of travel. Right. I there really you go. hope that that's the way it is because, you know, Dr. Lemus, if you're saying almost all illnesses are the result of poor lifestyle choices, well, what if we ter- shifted that paradigm and that wasn't a factor anymore? I think we'll soon, I do believe, okay, now, I know this is far reaching, okay, but I'm an optimist. I believe that in the near future, sometime, that we'll look back and people won't de- be developing non-communicable diseases anymore, which is most of the illnesses. And we'll right. look back on it and say, oh my gosh, there was a time when almost everyone had non-communicable disease. Well, like, why would you want that? Right, right. Well, I mean, in my lifetime, because uh, I now officially, I need to talk to Liz because I, I just crossed the threshold where I qualify for an, an old a senior citizen's discount, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, so, um, but in my lifetime, you would go on rounds in the hospital and the attending doctors would be smoking. There would be the only reason you couldn't smoke in your hospital room if you were on oxygen, right? You could go to a doctor's office and there'd be ashtrays in the, in the waiting room. And we look back, despite clear irrefutable evidence that smoking was the root cause of half the things that we were seeing people in the hospital for, cancer and heart disease, on and on. And we look back now and we say, isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard of? People used to smoke in the hospital and the doctors smoke. Well, To your point, you know, my dream is that I share that dream that you have, Mike, that one day we'll look back and say, can you believe we used to give our kids McDonald's in school and we used to, you know, serve these foods, you know, on a cruise or in a hotel or in a restaurant, um, despite clear and irrefutable evidence that those are the very foods that that are the root cause of these chronic diseases. I mean, you still see it today. You can walk into the cardiac care unit. And see someone who just has had a heart attack and, and their first meal is bacon and eggs, right? I mean, that's really criminal, if you ask me. Um, you can go to the surgical unit and someone just had half their colon out for colon cancer and the first real food they get, they can order a ham and cheese sandwich. I mean, that's really, that's insane to me. Um, now, you know, we're starting to see a shift, but even in the medical profession, we haven't gotten it figured out. And, and again, I, I think hopefully in the future, between changes in medical education, changes in travel, changes in you know, medical practice, changes in hospitals, you know, school lunches and on and on and on. We'll get to the point where you're exactly right. We're, we're, you know, type two diabetes will be rare, not the norm. Right. Can't wait. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be incredible. Um, And I, Mike, I was on your website a little while ago and I, um, so that's where I got, yeah. Oh, I did see, I did see that um, the seven pounds lost a pound a oh, day. Oh, yes. I thought, yes. I thought the testimonial. Was just, incredible. just absolutely incredible. And so um, one of the, so we've talked about the three different types of meal plans. Um, and then the topics that you have on your website that were, that all of the presenters will touch on at some point. Um, and I'm, I know this is not an exhaustive list. <laughs> no. um, weight loss, Alzheimer's, dementia, heart disease, mental health high blood pressure, cancer, and kidney disease. So okay. that and more will be addressed. There's going to be, so Jim and I are going to do um, at least two Doc and Chef presentations. Yeah. Um, we will, you and people will get our recipes as well. Um, you were mentioning earlier that there's going to be a person who's doing only raw, a raw demonstration. Yes. Yep. Okay. And is there any other cooking demos that you are aware of? Well, you know, I think Dilip will be back. Oh, Dilip yeah. Harmon, who is there, a food for life instructor. So yeah, there'll be a, a wide variety. We hope that will be appealing yeah. to everyone. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Um, will you have, and I'm sorry if it is there and I missed it. Will you have the list, like the agenda up beforehand? Yes, we will. Well, uh, it's in development right now. Uh, we're also going to have a new feature this year, which you, which you two may want to participate in as well, which is basically one-on-one consultations, private consultations. It's an additional fee if people want to do it. It's totally optional. And uh, you and I, or, or all of us, yourself, Dr. Loomis and I can, can, you know, we'll talk about that. We'll put all that on the website pre-cruise. So you got to sign up here though, because there's a deadline in September when actually that's the final deadline to sign up because the ship sold out, I think, early October last year. 
So once we do, then we'll go into that development stage where we have the final schedule. And if folks want to see what it looked like last year, we have a tab on that website that shows 2024. They can click on it. They can see who was there. They can see what the schedule was. And we will probably double up a schedule, have twice as much going on and have these private consultations. So if you're on the ship and say, oh, this, yeah, I'm, this is where I am in my journey. This, I need help with this. And, and I need help from this expert right here. You can book a session, you know, one on one, and and uh, it's it's awesome. It's going to be that's a great idea. So, Karen, we need to we need to talk to Mike about that. I think yeah. there's going to be opportunity for both of us to to you know you offering some kitchen confidence uh, consultations, and and I can help people a little bit, maybe getting off their their diabetes medication. So, we'll, we'll, yeah. that's a great idea, Mike. I, 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 I that's a great idea and a great service too, because you know the problem is in the healthcare community, as you well know. Uh, although there's more and more, uh, finding a, someone who truly understands the power of plants and, and lifestyle medicine, um, you know, it's, it's sometimes easier said than done. And, you know, there might be one person in your whole state who, who is licensed to, to, to do that and, and um, you know, having access to, to experts, whether it be physicians or, or, or coaches or, or chefs, um, uh, to answer very specific questions. Um, 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 that's a great idea. So um, I think that's, yeah, so. All right, yeah. And also I want to mention too that, you know, we know everyone's on a different place in their journey. And we call this the health optimization cruise because basically the idea is anyone who really wants to prioritize their health, no matter where they are, we can assist in that, right? We're not going to leave anybody behind. We're not going to be way too advanced for somebody. We're going to dial into wherever you are. And that's why we want to do these individual sessions as well so that people can get more one-on-one -on -one help. Another thing is we also recognize from what you said, Dr. Loomis, that, you know, it's going to be a long time with those changes, but we also see it's a grassroots effort, right? So we need to recognize that there are people out there, which we believe that really could benefit from this. And we've seen it already in the first year. So we encourage you to sign up because it's a great value as we've discussed for what you get. And if you don't believe us, you'll see when you get on the cruise. And uh, in addition to that, it shows that there's a demand, right? People need to vote with their dollars. If this is important, like you wanna leave your house and not hurt your health, there's very, very few places where you can do that right now, right? Yeah. But yeah. This, this is one, and we really would love your support in this effort. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's gonna be qu quite a week. Um, we will um, we'll go ahead and start to wrap this up. If nobody has any questions, that's okay. Um, I will put all the information in the show notes, um, how to get in touch with Liz, uh, Mike, your, um, your website, um, information about earlier this year. Uh, but you know what? January is coming really, really soon. And it yeah. also, by the way, would make a great Christmas present for somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely. And also, I want to let you know, if, if you're not ready to commit, but you just want to keep in touch with us to kind of to learn about what's going on with this event because it's an annual event. This will be just the second year coming up. Every year we're going to make it better. I have such a list of requests of the cruise line. They didn't agree to all of them this time, but maybe next year, you know, we're going to keep going forward with this. Well, if you go to healthoptimizationcruise.org and you click on, there's like a little link where we have an event fee that we have to pay because we have all this stuff is exclusive to our group only. Nobody else on the ship gets to do the private dining area or the education like we have. So if you go to that event fee, you can sign up for free on our email list through the uh, event fee link without paying for anything. Yeah. Oh, wait, so, so, so say that again. So yes. we have an event fee because of our special group or whatever. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And then okay, let me clarify. We didn't have that the first year. Okay. Now we didn't because we were just truly, we didn't even know what we were doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We were doing something that no one had ever done before, and we weren't even sure how it was going to go. And truly, it blew my mind. It went way better than I ever thought it would. Thanks to you, Karen, and Dr. Loomis as well, because it was a team effort. Uh, but going forward, we have we realized we have to pay for the, the different venues where we're doing our presentations, uh, the cooking demonstrations. We have to compensate them for the extra level of service in our private dining area. These are all exclusive things for our event. You have to have ID to get into our dining area. Uh, or uh, Liz, is, Liz knows everybody. She's our one travel agent. She knows if someone's there or not. We actually had somebody show up to the lectures this past time who was really interested because they're really cool lectures. It actually was your cooking demonstration, I think. But we let them stay a time or two, but then she talked to them and you know, they, they either had to agree to up to pay the event fee or or not, because there's a difference in costs. We keep the costs as low as we can 
and make it a great value. But that's the thing. Uh, and just so you all know, uh, for the event fee, just so you know, some insider information on a strategy to save money. All right. We told people who are on the ship this past time, if they sign up for 2025, when they're on the ship for 2024, they don't pay, they pay no event fee, none. Okay. So they, that they signed up right away. They're like, Oh, this is great. Of course I'm going to sign up now. Why would I want to wait? And then we had an early bird event fee earlier on. Now we have the regular cost. And from time to time, like yourself and Dr. Loomis, you, you all have your own custom codes, right? So you can give those out. I think it's like $50 off per person. Cause it's a per person event fee charge. Uh, then you, so you have a discount code, make sure to, to ask Dr. Loomis and Karen for their discount codes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we have to. I have to get that for everybody. We'll add that to the show notes as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there was a question, Karen, uh, uh, about how many people uh, do we, uh, we anticipate? Mike, do you anticipate uh, on this year's cruise? Uh, Maybe too early to tell, but if you had to, you're, what's your best guess? Well, it's so it's hard. It is hard to tell. But right this first time in January, we had uh, a lot of seventy about seventy people. I think we anticipate at least a hundred this time around. Yeah. And, you know, increasing going forward. And just keep in mind, we have our own private dining area. You can join us at every meal or not. You can welcome the rest of the ship. So not everyone's in the dining area at every time, but there's plenty of people. You'll just be meeting people all week if, if you want to meet new people. And it's not too big to where you're not going to be able to meet everyone if you don't want, or you're not going to be able to get uh, a seat at a lecture or whatnot. Right, right. Yeah, and by the way, the the private dining area is that's that's what it is. It's a private dining area. You are in a regular restaurant with everybody else. It's not like we are set at like the back of the ship or something. You're in a regular restaurant with everybody else. We just have like a a nice little area that is just for us. So um, it's not like we're we're still with everybody in the ship, which is nice, right? Yes. And also, I want to clarify another thing I've been working on with with the cruise line is that, you know, on my list, one of the things, some of the feedback we got, and believe me, we are constantly responding to feedback. OK, the whole time we're on the cruise ship and including now and it'll be again in January of 2025, constant feedback response during the event. One of the things we heard was they wanted like a salad bar, let's say, OK, which I thought was a great idea. But I can tell you, Karen, from what you said about the dining area, the cruise line didn't want to do it because that's like. A salad bar doesn't kind of mesh with the higher end dining experience right. they want to deliver, you know. So, <laughs> so we're still working with them on that because everything's brought to you by the wait staff, yeah. you know. And uh, it, it's that's the kind of experience it is. It's a it's a it's a higher end experience. It is almost like I mean, and I guess you could say it was like white glove experience, you know. Yeah. Right. It's, it's it's pretty nice. It's it's not just like a mass, massive amount of people going to a salad bar or like a hot bar or something. That Although you could do that, right? Too. If you if you wanted to go to the main dining area, you could experience that if yeah. you wanted to. <laughs> right, right. That's what I was gonna say. They had they had an excellent salad bar upstairs in the in the galley part, uh, you know, which you could make an amazing vegan salad, but but it was uh, in the less formal part of the uh, the boat. So it's not like you can't go to a salad bar. That's right. That's it's right. Just, well, yeah, that's so. right. You're right, Dr. Loomis. Uh, they, they didn't have it in our dining area, but Karen, did they have a dressing that of a recipe that you gave them at the salad bar? Is that right? N uh, not unless they took it from my, my website or from one of our presentations, but I don't I know. I remember that. that. Well, we let's talk about that. I, I got to remember. I got to make a note because yeah. I think that they did. I think somehow they did that or they want to do that. Maybe they, that was what it was in, in my uh, discussions with them. Because okay, they so wanted let's... to get Let's explore that. And I'm happy to talk with them and give them a couple of options. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Cool. All right. Any other questions? No, not yet. Okay. Well then, Mike, do you have any wrapping comments, any final things that you'd like to say before we, we sign off? Yes. Well, uh, you know, the idea with how we did this cruise is that Liz, our travel agent approached me. I never thought an event like this was even possible. Okay. Cause you get, you get everything you get, the amazing ship, the professional entertainment, plus everything done in a way that doesn't hurt your health. Okay. So that is to me, the future of travel. Uh, you know, it's just something that I feel like people need to experience to, to understand that this is even available. Most people still don't even know it's available. And as we've discussed, it's going to keep getting better every year. We're so thankful that Karen, you uh, and Dr. Loomis are with us since day one. 
And I think, you know, we'll look back in 10 years and just marvel at what has happened with just knowledge and habits in the general public. And this is just uh, a vehicle to do that, really. I mean, we, you, you, you become like the five people you surround yourself with, right? So that's who I want to go on a vacation with. I want to go on a vacation with people who want to do the best they can for their health. And the reason why is because I always ask this when I give a talk, who likes to be sick? Nobody. Right. Nobody likes to be sick. Right, right, right. No, that's right. Who likes to spend five hundred dollars a month on medications that they don't need necessarily? They need, but may not need down the road if they adapt it. Nobody, right? Yeah. I mean, I, who wants to spend their 80th birthday or their 50th wedding anniversary in a nursing home, right? Nobody, right? You want to do that on a cruise ship, and and you know, again, so yeah. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's a no, it's a no brainer to me. I'm just, I'm just so glad it's possible, and it's even, it's even, and it's happening. <laughs> Right, right, right. I think, you know, Karen, this is Karen's when she's telling me to be, it's okay, be quiet. You can, you've talked enough now. Right? I, uh, and so I, I do tend to talk a lot, as you can tell. So I'll be quiet now because I'm still talking. <laughs> oh, God, Jim. Yeah, Mike, thank you very much for leading this off. We really, really appreciate it. And we're so excited to be back and to be part of this incredible opportunity and again, experience. And, you know, Jim and I have been doing this for a long time, but, uh, not on a boat. So it's truly our honor to, to be, to be back and to be part of it and to, to make new friends and foster new relationships as well. So, so thanks very much for all of this. Um, we, I will get this up in our member library, uh, in the next 24 hours and, um, we'll keep, we'll keep, uh, talking about it cause we're all really excited about it. So thanks very much, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. See Bye. you later. Bye. Bye. See you in January. See you, yeah. Nancy. <laughs> I'm signed up. All right. All right. Great. You're going to be great. Yeah, Nancy, you're right going to love it. You're going to love it. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. We will talk Love's with you good. soon. Okay. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Thanks. Have, a good, well. have a, a excellent healthy dinner. Excellent. I already had mine before this, but <laughs> I'm in East Coast time. <laughs> All right. Thank I'm going you. out for a walk. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. See ya. All right.